So I have a new chip to go into the desktop. It's, that's a pretty old desktop. It's an i5. And I have, well, this is still an old CPU, but it's better. It's an i7. You can just about see it. So I'll go into my computer. Properties. You can see there. It's an i5 2400, which is pretty slow. So I'm gonna throw this chip in, make it a wee bit faster. It'll still be old, but it should should do should be a bit faster. So you turn this off. Chips underneath here. Um, I guess we're gonna need a screwdriver and probably take that out of the way too, just to give us access. Thing must have to come out as well. Oh, that was handy. There's more screws. There's my four sticks of RAM, four four gig. There's the chip in there, CPU, whatever you want to call it. It's a Core i5 2400S, so it's a second gen i5, and we've got a Third gen i7. You see, you see on the chip, you can't really put these in wrong, but there's like a notch there and a notch there, and those line up with there on the socket. So we'll drop that in, close it over. That's located okay, good. You're going to want some of this thermal conductivity paste. Yes, that'll be enough. Put this back in. Thank 
Just knock those screws down. Don't screw them too hard. Plug the fan back in. Tuck those wires back down in there. Check they're still all plugged on the motherboard because it did pull on them. Drop my hard drive caddy back in. CD drive, not that I'll ever use it. Power cable, static cable. There we go. Core back on. I think it's right there, right? There we go. Plug it back in and try it. That's a good start. Load it right up. Back into my computer. There we go. Core i7. Very good. Hopefully that makes everything a bit faster. That was very easy. <laughs> 